Hey YouTube, second vlog here, and I've updated my deck again. This time it's in version 3.0, still the same format, both Naruto and Gara. If you don't know what I'm talking about, go watch my last video with my deck. And this is going to be the first, no, like the second episode of season 2, I guess. I don't know. Anyway, so here's how the deck runs now. I took out Toads, still got three Choji for Chakra. Two Konohamaru Ninja Squad, because they injure two support, so I can block with them once and not be worried, because their effect is valid. Two Sakura Double Personality. Two Nawakis for draw. Sasuke breaking off the connection. Becomes even more powerful now. Think. On one turn I play Nawaki, injure him during the extended Jutsu, power up Sasuke, get two paddle rewards, or beat somebody early game. Or I can injure Kono Ninja Squad and have him on the team and get from a 3 to a 5. And then also Kono's on the team so it'd be a 7. Now 2 Tamari for getting rid of Jutsus before my opponent even has a chance to play him. Uh, 2 Naruto and Shadow Clone for Jutsu. Uh, only 1 Chakra for any Rasengan. Which you'll see I'll use, I'll have a lot of later. Aruka. It's a pretty hard choice to pick between this and Accurate Analysis. But I picked this one because for one time it pumps every ninja in this deck besides Tamari and Gaara. Uh, 3 Naruto searching, of course, because that's what the deck's about. 2 Jizune brings back cards. 1 Suicide Anko to injure someone, then Rasengan on them on a later turn. Uh, 3 Gaara search. <clears throat> Naruto Gaara, pretty invincible. Naruto Gamabunta, high power and gets Chakra. Two Jirai to bring back Jutsu. One Tsunade, the protector of the big tree. Uh, two Rasengan, I took one of them out. One Blazing, because it's pretty good. Moonlight Rasengan wins me battle rewards. Sometimes it'll win me two. Gives Naruto plus seven. It's the best of the Rasengan I have. One uh, Shadow Clone multiplies Naruto, which is pretty good. Uh, two Double Sand Blades. Two Sand Tombs. A Sand Tsunami, and two Sexy Jutsu, one, two Reunion, one Enko Mitarashi, one Welling at Red Chakra, if I get another one of these, I may take out Enko for it, one, two, three One Mornings, one Light and Darkness, and one Michiru. The reason it runs so, like, instead of running three Rasengan, it only runs two, is because Dry brings back, and I see the deck is able to mill through so much uh, to get so much chakra early game. Now for the sideboard, I've got another one of the Aruka, another Suicide Anko, another Shadow Clone, two Shuriken just in case I want to run them, two Gigantic Fan, uh, Sand Tsunami, uh, Arch Rival. It's a counter mission that's pretty interesting. It lets me play a ninja from my hand during my opponent's turn. With the same entrance cost as one of my opponent's ninjas. I just find it fun. Blinding Destiny, in case I find that I'm running through my deck too fast and need to put it all back. Now, I also proceeded to build a fire deck as well. And the fire deck runs com like. It's some. Um, I just built it the way I would normally build a deck. And it somehow wound up with the same amount of Jutsu, Ninja, Mission, and Clients as this deck. It's got 29 Ninja, which would be 1, 2, 3 Kiba Man Beast Clone, 2 Akamaru Reliable Partner, because I don't have the speed one yet, 1 Nawaki, 1 Proxy for Nawaki, because as you see, they're in the other deck, uh, 2 Kanahamaru, the Hokage's grandson. Two Sakura, these are proxies for a double personality because they're on the other deck. Two Kotetsu, the Kotetsu and Easy Moon Platoon. It's pretty good because it's got three support and lets you draw and charge Chakra at the same time at the end of your turn. Two Sasuke, Jutsu Negator. One Sasuke, uh, Living in the Dark World because I only have two of the great Jutsu ones, the opening. One Double Headed Wolf, one Negation Hayate. Two Fugaku Uchiha, one Mikoto, three Kakashi. This one makes it so that it's the tin. Uh, your opponent 
and you, during your mission phase, you select one opponent's ninja. They can't use Jutsu for two turns. These Kakashi protect most of the leaf ninja uh, from opponent's Jutsu. This one, I don't think it needs to be in the deck. I just run it for fun. I'm probably going to take it out. To Itachi, it's valid. No, it's not valid. It negates all of my opponent's Sharingan, I mean, uh, Sasuke and Kakashi. It's the only Itachi I actually own right now, so that's why I'm running it. And as you can see, even my Lightning Wind deck runs Sasuke, so a lot of people run Sasuke. A lot of people still run Fire, too, so that's a good thing. Negating Sasuke's that negate, and negating Kakashi's that protect. Anyway, one third Okage to heal, because I don't have any better ones. One, two Shidori that only Sasuke uses. One Shidori that either can use. Lightning Blade Single Slash does a damage to every ninja in the opposing team. This is also a fun card. Kaleidoscope Sharingan. It costs one fire, only Itachi uses it. It targets every ninja in your opponent's team battling against Itachi. They each, uh, you both, like both players would flip the top card of their deck uh, at the same time for one target. And if it's the same type of card, they take a damage. We do it for the next one and the next one. And then we shuffle all the cards into our deck. I just find that pretty fun. One, two, three, eight trigrams, as expected in any fire deck. Two dragon flame bombs. Oh, sorry, dragon flame, two, two. Two smoke pellets, because I still don't have the showing on eye that negates. Three drifting clouds. <clears throat> three surprises. One symbol of the Crown Clan, because let's face it, who doesn't want their Fugaku to come out turn 3? Who doesn't want Itachi to come out turn 5 instead of 6? Or with Konohamaru, Itachi comes out turn 4. Uh, Jonin's Intervention, because just pitch Nawaki at the end of a turn, then get out Itachi, K Kakashi, uh, Mikoto, or Fugaku's early turn 1. And then Michiru, it's like the basic staple of all of my decks. <clears throat> this deck also has a sideboard. Two Naruto Legacy, in case my opponent is running the client that takes over Ninja Dogs, or if I need more early game. Two Fire South Phoenix Flower Jutsu. Uh, if my opponent's not running fire, I switch this in for Dragon Flame or whatever. Maybe the Lightning Blade. Do three damage with one Jutsu. Opening of the Sharingan, it's sort of like, uh, if my opponent negates my jutsu, use this. It'll like copy the jutsu and do it again. It's pretty weird and risky, but whatever. Uh, two suicidal action. I don't know. I just need some other card to put in the deck. And two deadly. Tide of deadly combat. Such a broken card. I only used it once. You see, what it does is it changes all healthy ninja to injured, and all injured ninja to healthy. So, <clears throat> when my opponent beat me one time, I swapped it into my deck from my sideboard, started milling it out, having my opponent uh, injure all of my ninja without killing them. I had like three injured, two healthy, and my opponent had six healthy ninja. And then I play this card, and now they've got six injured ninja. I've got three healthy and two injured, and my two injured were insulary characters like Tamari. Um, that's all I have for you now. Uh, this. The video is also for Shin Fitz to see what he thinks of the newest version of the deck. And I saw in his last comment to me, he asked why Blazing or Sangon. He gives Naruto plus 8. If I'm going to use Naruto and Shadow Clone, I'm going to need the plus 8 to win a victory, aren't I? And then move any of my opponent's ninjas battling against these or something to the bottom of the deck. That's like a Sand Tomb. That's like Sand Tomb plus 8. Second block signing off.